Hey, it's uh, March 3rd, so we're going to read uh, Proverbs 3. Okay, the title is uh, Wisdom Bestows Well-Being. <clears throat> my son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commandments in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring your peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring wealth to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of your crops, then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline, and do not resent his rebuke. Because the Lord disciplines those he loves, as a father, the son he delights in. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver, and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand, and in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding he set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the watery depths were divided, and the clouds let drop the dew. My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. Have no fear of sudden disaster, or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side, and will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those whom it is due, when it is your power to act. Do not say to your neighbor, come back tomorrow and I'll give it to you, when you already have it with you. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse anyone for no reason when they have done you no harm. <clears throat> do not envy the violent or choose any of their ways, for the Lord detests the perverse, but takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but shows favor to the humble and oppressed. The wise inherit honor, but fools get only shame. It's a good one. Um, I, I did a live on Facebook, but I'm going to do this again because uh, I don't think I wasn't able to share it. Um, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Okay, so trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust him. Trust his word. We know things can be messed with, but we know the point that the Father is trying to get across. Okay? Trust in Him. Don't don't listen to other people. Don't listen to, oh, such and such said this, or the books in the school say this. <laughs> yeah, you can't, don't believe anything. Okay? Do your own research. Anything. Do your, like don't believe anything you see on TV, you know. Don't believe anything you see on social media. You gotta do your own research. You can say, "Hum, I gotta check into that. I gotta verify that." You know, because um, right now, like everybody's afraid because of of the war between you know Russia and Ukraine. Um, you know, anybody who's a believer knows that like. It's not going to be the end of the world. It's not. War, I mean, the war, war is going to happen. 
and more has to happen in order for the prophecy to come true, in order for Yeshua to come, you know, wars and rumors of wars have to happen. So we've got war going on. And so the, you know, now we got rumors of World War Three, you know, room, you know, war, uh, you know what I mean? The end, you know, not yet, not even close. But, um, you know, before, even before, before Jesus comes, okay, the Antichrist and the false prophet have to come and have to be known, made known, okay? But before that, the two witnesses have to come, and that hasn't been made known either. And you might, you might, you should keep an eye on Israel if you want, if you're interested in end times or in period. You know, keep an eye on Israel and what's going on over there, and you'll see that prophecy is coming true. Every single one of them. All the you know all the blood moons already happened, so. But uh, yeah, and in all your ways, submit to him, and he will make your path straight. So submit to. Him.